the murder investigation of five-year-old Peyton Benson. Police reveal how a bullet traveled through her home and killed the little girl while she ate breakfast. Good evening, I'm Jeremy Maskell. Melissa Fry has the day off. Testimony in court today reveals a bullet went through a wall and a couch before hitting Peyton Benson in January. We found out a Facebook post was the reason a group of gang members in the neighborhood firing their guns. Enough evidence that a judge ordered these two men, Vincent Hicks and Jalen Montgomery, to stand trial. KETV News Watch 7's Chin Doan has this developing story. Friday in a Douglas County courthouse, we learned how this five-year-old was shot and killed on January 15th. Prosecutors say a bullet from a rifle went through the living room and couch where Peyton Benson was eating eggs. The stray bullet struck Benson, then went through several doors and back outside. At the hearing, Peyton Benson's father, along with friends and family of the suspects, Jalen Montgomery and Vincent Hicks, all affected by this gang violence. There are no winners here. There are no winners here. Every is a mess. An Omaha police detective testifies one of the suspects, Jacob Brown, told investigators Adonis Moses instructed him to take care of a stolen Jeep the night of January 14th. The next morning, Moses asked Brown to take him, Hicks, and Montgomery to J&J &J Grocery near 42nd and Bedford because a rival gang posted a photo on Facebook he didn't like. A reminder for Barbara Robinson with Impact One how quickly gang violence can spread. Our young kids take it very serious. Serious enough for the four men, according to a witness, to stop in the middle of the 44th and Emmett intersection, shooting at someone who was a block away, crossing an empty lot south of Peyton Benson's home. Prosecutors say all four men fired shots, but a bullet from Hicks' rifle is the one that killed Benson. Investigators found casings in the area as well as other evidence in the stolen Jeep, but they still have not tracked down the weapons or the person these men were allegedly after. Attorneys for Montgomery and Hicks argue their charges should be lowered because of these reasons, but the judge sided with prosecutors. I intend to shoot at someone uh, to kill them, and I hit somebody else. It, the, the intent that I had to shoot, say you, and I hit the other person, transfers to the other person. That's Chin Doan reporting. Now, Douglas County Attorney Don Klein, who you heard from there, says it could be six months before this case goes to trial.